knowledge was to see a person working alone in the desert with no road access and no local water supply could build a 14-foot diameter round earth bag tiny home working alone, as I said, for under $2,000 and within three months or 90 days of work. Today is the end of day 90, and I can show you now uh, where I ended up at that point. Uh, I had taken a lot of uh, photographs and video clips and had a lot of other information that I was hoping to share on this video. However, a week ago my laptop was stolen and all of those files were on it, including my video editing software. So this is going to be a raw, unedited, uh, fairly short video just showing where I ended up. We're looking out the window from the inside right now, so I'll move back. And as you can see, the walls uh, are up to the ceiling at this point. There is a door and there is there a uh, double step down because this is uh, submerged about uh, three feet under the ground to take advantage of geothermal. The roof I put on with two by six rafters uh, with plywood sheathing covered in plastic on both sides to help waterproof. I haven't decided on what the final rooftop will be yet. So here you can see the walls are mostly completed up to the ceiling. However, on the low side of the roof, I've left it open for now because I want to have some sort of uh, vent that I can open and close in order to move air through here naturally. The low side of the um, of the ceiling is about uh, eight feet high, and that's what we're looking at right now. And then the high side of the roof or the ceiling is about nine and a half feet high, and that's what we're looking at right now. That's where the door is and the step down. So that's the interior. Here's another shot of the roof. And I'll show you the outside. I have a lot of building materials and supplies all over. And uh, I have tires on top of the uh, plastic on the roof right now to uh, prevent the plastic from moving. You can also see around the bottom, I created a berm and swale area so that water that runs off the roof will uh, not accumulate near the building. It will go into the swales. So originally I had hoped to have a livable building within 90 days of work, but uh, that did not happen. I do have a building, and uh, I just need to finish the floor inside. I'll make an earthen floor, and then uh, also put a door and a window on, and then I am going to put insulation, most likely bat insulation, in between the ceiling and the roof. That's it. Uh, again, unfortunately, I had a lot more to share, uh, but I don't have that anymore because it was on my laptop. As far as expenses, I think the last time I looked I spent a little bit over $2,000 just on the building materials alone. Um, my expenses, my personal expenses, were a lot more than that because I had a lot of travel coming back and forth to the site and uh, leaving the area several times during the project and driving back and then uh, renting an Airbnb for a good part of the project and uh, tools that I had to buy and uh, just various other expenses. So the materials did come in around $2,000, but my personal, as I said, my personal expenses were a lot more than that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck if you're doing your own earthbag project.